What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to our subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to get notified for future um, readings. Just saying, just saying, saying. This is weekly reading for Santa Aries. I apologize that it is a few days late. I was arrested on October 20th of 2021, so um, it kind of delayed me a little bit for the readings. Um, so I apologize about that. I was Arrested on my own property for disturbing the peace. Uh, it was just a setup and manipulation, but I'm back now. So, anyways, um, I love you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just want to let everybody know that. If you'd like to donate, it's Hyper Sister 05. The link's in the description box below. Um, if you'd like to donate. All right. Now, the first, um, I got two channel messages in as I was meditating on your weekly energy. And the first one was... Um, Complications is the first one I heard. Complications. And the second one I heard um, an Aries feminine is about to move in quickly on a Scorpio masculine. Um, many shocking native series of tame events are going to occur in for the kill. So you plug it in however that resonates. Um, however that resonates. So some kind of complications. Um, that could be complications in your life or somebody you're connected to's life. Some kind of complications. Um, that could be health complications, that could be financial complications, that could be, um, like logistical complications, some kind of complications in some shape, form, or fashion. And then, um, an Aries fam is about to move in on a Scorpio masculine, but many shocking series of chain events is going to occur negatively with that situation and for the kill. So I think it's an Aries fam about to try to seduce a Scorpio masculine. Is what I think on that, but you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have for a sign of yours. Then press upright, five switch. And Aries is about to get in a conflict with a very high, vib high vibrational divine being. Some, a person of their past, college mate, some, an ex-lover, some, a mother, baby mother of spouse. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates for you, Aries, if that resonates with you. I heard that Aries is about to get into a conflict with a high, uh, high vibrational divine being. Now, a high, high vibrational divine being is, they're very high vibrational. They do what they're supposed to do. They're um, usually very spiritual, um, usually, um, but they're very high vibrational. Vibrations have nothing to do with money. I just want to make that clear. You can have $5 and be very high vibrational. You can have $50,000. $5 million and be very low vibrational. It's how you treat people. Honesty, trust, loyalty, respect, values, ethics, morals, that kind of thing. So they're very high vibrational, who this is. Um, some of you guys, I heard it's a um, it's an ex, ex-lover. So somebody you were connected with sexually in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, that could be the person for the Aries fam, maybe that that's who you're going to get into a conflict with, with Scorpio masculine, possibly for some of you guys, but some kind of ex-lover energy. For some, it's the, I heard a baby mother of your spouse. So you have a spouse, Aries, you could be masculine or feminine, you have a spouse, and it's a, a, a baby mother of your spouse. But they're a high vibrational divine being. So they're very high vibrational, they do what they need to do, but you're about to have a conflict with them in some shape, form, or fashion. And for some, I heard it's someone of your past college mate. So it's someone you went to college with in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be technical college, community community college, four-year college, Ivy League college. You plug that in, how that resonates. And for someone, it's and for some Aries, it's someone you went to school with. Elementary, middle, and high school. Okay. And for some of you guys, it's someone you went to school with, elementary, middle, middle, and high school. So um 
they're coming off as Empress upright. This is the person you're, this is the conflict energy you're going to get in conflict with them with. Now, you know, you can be in conflict with somebody a million different ways, um, conflict energy. Um, but I heard they're a high vibrational divine being. Hopefully you are too, but, it, but there, there's some reason you're in a conflict with them in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, you have to plug in your life how it fits. This is a conflict energy. This is your high vibrational divine being you're going to get in a conflict with. They're coming off as the empress upright, so the highest vibration in the throat. It's up there with like the high priestess and the emperor. Now, it's coming off as the femme energy, but energies can be reversed. So, and everybody takes on masculine femme energy. So, for some of you guys, it could be a femme energy with vagina parts, and for some, it could be a masculine energy that um, that um, takes on femme energy. So it could actually be a masculine energy with penile parts that takes on them energy. So you have to plug this in your life, however that resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, if that resonates with you. But some kind of conflict energy for some strange shape, form, fashion, however that resonates. But whoever it is, they've done a lot of healing and shadow work. I'll tell you that. They've done a lot of healing and shadow work. It really has worked on themselves. Um, so... Hopefully, y'all can come to a peaceful resolution. You plug it in how it fits. Spirit messages you have for a sign of air. An Aries is about to get terminated soon. A water sign feminine has a lot to do with this. For some, it is a wrongful termination. For some, it is not. Oh, my God. Whoa. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God. I heard uh, um, Aries is about to get terminated soon. A water sign feminine has a lot to do with this. So, um Cancer Pisces Scorpio Fem Energy has a lot to do with your termination, if this resonates with you. Um, for some of you guys, I heard it's a wrongful termination, and for some it's not. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Now, um, wrongful terminations are wrongful. Um, you know, that results in lawsuits. Um, wrongful terminations do. If you are able to file. Um, I was wrongfully terminated three times in a year from 19 to 20. I was not able to file because I didn't have the money. To file and my all three of mine were wrongful terminations um but somebody's about to get wrongfully terminated i hope you have the money and a good lawyer that can um get you some justice um if you if you were wrongfully terminated or for some of you guys it is wrongful and for some it's not for so for some they've got some kind of documentation true documentation not altered documentation true documentation that truly there really was some issues there and they weren't resolved um, not false documentation, not fraud. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a water sign femme has a lot to do with this. So a Cancer Pisces Scorpio feminine energy has a lot to do with your termination, whether it's wrongful or not. You have to plug these people in your life, however they resonate. If they do, seven of pentacles reverse, the sun upright. An Aries is about to give up a lot of stolen money. Sees the truth very clearly, clearly now. Very clearly. Stolen money of a fire sign feminine. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Heard of Aries is about to give up um, some stolen money. So you have some stolen money. You can be masculine or feminine. You plug it in how it fits, but it's stolen money of a fire sign fem, I heard. Um, Aries Leo Sage fem, but it wasn't yours. Somehow you acquired this money, but it wasn't yours. Um, but I heard you're about to give it up. You're about to give up the stolen money. You see things very clearly, clearly now, very clearly. Um, you're about to give up the stolen money. So um, this is... Um, this is giving up stolen money energy, seven of pentacles reverse. It was a, it was quite a, it wasn't a ton of money, but it was a good chunk. Um, it's like positive seven, positive 10. 
in the trial with pentacles. So a good chunk of money. And then um, sun upright. This I think this is your fire sign femme. This is Leo energy. For some, it could be a Leo or um, I heard fire sign femme. So Aries, Leo, Sag, feminine energy. That is the person that this money belongs to. Um, I'm assuming it's going to make this fire sign femme very happy because we have sun upright. Um, it's gonna, and of course, it would make them happy. It's their money. So absolutely, absolutely. Sun upright. Experiment said this you have a sign of Aries. An Aries is about to reach out to a fire sign fan soon. Parents' health is declining. Wants to talk. Okay. For some, it's one parent. For some, it is both parents. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. You have fire sign energy in here. Very strong, Aries. Very strong. So very strong. So um, if this resonates with you, Aries, I heard you're going to reach out to a fire sign film. You want to talk to them. For some of you guys, one of your parents' health is declining. For some, both are. Um, but it's been a long time since you spoke to this person. You are very regretful of the past. But no, you have to come very honest. Okay, I heard it's been a long time since you spoke to this person. So it's been a long time since you spoke to this Aries Leo Sag um, person um, that you want to reach out to. But I heard um, you're regretful of something that happened in the past, but you want to speak to them now. But I heard you have to come with the truth. You have to come straight and with the truth. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, it's you reaching out to a fire sign, an Aries Leo Sag. Ten of swords reversed, ten of wands reversed. A particular Aries is about to be a mother soon. They are about to get a huge dose of reality and, and really very, very regretful of past. It's going to cause them to want to heal things with a Leo. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits. Wow, a lot of messages in here. So um, an Aries fam, I heard, is about to become a mother soon. So I'm assuming this is a first-time mother. Um, because, you know, I have two kids, so, you know, after the first kid, you already have your kid. <laughs> you know how it rolls. Of course, every kid's different, but I'm just saying. I feel this is a first-time mother, um, but you plug it in how it fits. But they, I heard this Aries fam is about to become a mother, and they're about to get a huge wake-up call, like a bitch slap of reality, basically. And I heard it's going to make them very regretful of the past. So they did something to this Leo in some shape, form, or fashion. I think, I feel whoever this is for, um, Aries, I think this Leo is a mother. I think they're a mother and you did something to them in some shape, form or fashion in negative fashion. Um, but I heard you're going to be very regretful because you're basically going to get a bitch slap of reality becoming, I feel a new mother. I don't feel it's your second, third or fifth child because you would already know the rodeo kind of, um, energy. But, um, uh, I heard it's going to want to cause you to reach out to a, the Leo, the Leo, Leo Finn mother I'm feeling. Um, so whether you reach out to her or not, that is your free will and your choice. You plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Ten of swords reversed, ten of wands And Aries is very relieved that 
many things are aired out very publicly now. They should have been aired out publicly in the past. It makes this Aries very happy. Okay, so you plug this in however, however this resonates for you. If this resonates with you, heard of Aries is very relieved that things are very aired out very publicly. Um, they should have been aired out publicly in the past. It makes this Aries feel very relieved. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates with you, Aries. And absolutely, freaking Lutely, yeah. Um, you know, holding secrets and holding secrets in and um, not telling nothing to nobody and withholding information. That's a bunch of BS, man. You should be able to be free to speak your truth. Be free to freaking speak your truth. And apparently you're relieved. So I think these secrets had to do with you or somebody you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. However, that resonates. But they're aired out very publicly now. It makes you feel very relieved. So Ten of Swords reverse. That's um, the betrayal energy reverse. So whoever, whether you were betrayed or somebody you're connected to was betrayed or several people were betrayed, it's apparently about to be aired out very publicly now or it already has been. And then Ten of Wands reverse. That's um, the a big ass load and burden was off your shoulders. Um, it makes you, this is like the relief energy because things are being aired out so publicly that um, it makes you feel relieved. And absolutely, freaking lutely yeah. Nobody should harbor deep, dark, dooku secrets. Just, just nay nay. Spirit message this year have a sign of Aries. A cancer is about to end up pregnant. Aries part partner. Okay, I heard Aries is, uh, I'm sorry, a cancer is about to end up pregnant. Aries partner. So you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates with you, um, Aries. I heard a cancer is about to end up pregnant. It's an Aries partner. So um, you are, your partner is a um, cancer, if that resonates with you. And I heard they're about to end up preg uh, pregnant. So um, congrats if you want, if you want them to be pregnant. Um, just saying, just saying. Spirit message that you have a sign of Aries. Realization. Wake up call energy. Number three might be very significant. Number three. That could be um, a possible age of somebody you're connected to. It could be a date of birth number, social security card number, um, green card number, um, jersey number, um, lottery number, any kind of significant number in your uh, life in any shape, form, or fashion. You could be seeing this number on billboards or advertisements. Also, I feel compelled to look up angel number 333. Looming, a sign that a looming decision needs your attention. A signal that your path ahead is clear for moving forward. So, looming decision needs your attention. Your path ahead is clear to move forward. So, um, that could be the complication energy too as well. Some kind of looming decision. That could be the pregnancy energy for some of you guys. There's a Fem Aries pregnant in here. There is a Aries partner, Cancer partner that is pregnant in here. Um, there's conflict energy all over the place. That could be the looming decision. Um, you plug it in however that resonates. It could be the fact that you stole money from someone and they're pissed that you stole money from them. Um, you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates with you. But it looks like you're about to give the money back. So that's good. Um, now, giving the money back is good and all, but will they ever trust you again? Probably not. It's just being broke, bro. I mean, I wouldn't. Somebody stole money from me. Just saying. So, realization, wake up call energy.
A huge dose of reality is about to hit an Aries very soon, very hard. Some birthing of child, some pregnancy news, some the past. Okay, so you plug it in however that resonates. I heard huge wake-up call energy happening for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys, birthing of a child. So, so I think the child's about to come soon in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, it could be you pregnant or somebody you're connected to pregnant. Um, and some realizing you're either pregnant or your partner's pregnant, i.e. that cancer partner probably for some. And for some, some kind of... Um, reality about a wake-up call bitch slap a reality about the past in some shape form or fashion so you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates with you a particular aries has a huge public platform is about to get a lot of private messages about the past it is going to mortify them This Aries will probably turn it around in a positive way for the person that was wrong. Okay, so you plug it in, how if that resonates, if that resonates for you. So if this resonates with you, um, there's an Aries that has a public platform. I, I heard a huge public platform. So they get a lot of attention, whoever you are, Aries. Um, you get a lot of attention. You have a large public platform. So, you know, it's, you gain a lot of attention from people. Now, whatever you do, you could be a public speaker, you could be a reader, you could be, um, you could be out in your community um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but you get a lot of attention. Uh, it's a public platform. You could be a politician. You could be, um, uh, I, I'm not sure, um, something that draws in a lot of people. Whatever, whoever you are. But I heard basically you're about to start getting, I heard a lot of private messages. So that could be private messages on your phone, I'm feeling, um, from people. Or private messages on the internet from people. I um, mean, if it's an internet public platform, um, I heard a lot. So, I mean, a ton of messages. You're about to get a ton of communication from a lot of people regarding some person that was wronged in the past in some shape, form, or fashion, and somehow you were connected to it. Um, but I heard it's going to give you a huge wake-up call, a huge realization, a real, uh, huge epiphany, a huge wake-up call um, about this person that was so severely wronged in the past. And basically, I heard you will probably turn it around in a positive way for this person that was so severely wronged in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. So, how, I mean, how are you turning it around for them in a positive way? I don't know. You know, that is obviously your free will and choice, however you decide to do that. Um, you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. But realization, wake up call, energy. Let me see if I hear anything else. A huge secret is about to be revealed to an Aries. Feelings of love. Okay, I heard a huge secret is about to be revealed to an Aries. Feelings of love. So, that could be the wake-up call energy, too. Maybe one of you guys, uh, maybe you're single Aries, I'm feeling. And somebody um, confesses their feelings, true feelings of love, possibly. Ooh, la, la, la. You plug it in how it fits, if that resonates with you. Of course, you would have the free will to decline or not. Um, but apparently, they truly have true emotional feelings for you in some shape, form, or fashion. Hopefully, it's not a stalker or psycho person. Um, hopefully, they are mentally stable and competent. Just saying. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed for you. All right. I love you guys. If you think anyone else could uh, benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media. I would very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.